Problem. Pipette aid will not hold volume when pipette is filled. Probable cause. Make sure all components are in the nose piece and fit properly. Those components consist of a self-locking Drummond filter, two TC gaskets, one at each end of the filter, and a rubber insert. If all components are present and fit tightly, then check the fill and empty buttons for proper location. When held in the right hand, you must be able to see either an S, M, or F indicating your current speed range. As you rotate the buttons, you should feel resistance followed by the button clicking into place. If they spin freely, that would indicate the button is broken. If this does not occur, then the O-rings need to be replaced. Open the handle by removing the nose piece and cutting the label on the bottom with a razor blade. Then remove the three screws and open up the halves of the unit. Slide the yellow or orange valve body cover to expose the O-rings. Rotate each button, which will raise the O-rings, making for easy removal. Replace the O-rings, making sure they are flush with the valve body. This can be done by having one of the button letters centered and facing you. Now slide the cover back into place, making sure it is even on both ends of the valve body. Then put the device back together. Caution, do not crush or compress the O-rings when sliding the cover back into place. This can damage them.